find yourself a comfortable posture, relaxed, open. Above your head, imagine a brilliant red globe of spinning light. Invite it to drop down through the crown, the third eye, the throat, the heart, the solar plexus, the spleen, and into the base chakra. Imagine it touching and energizing each chakra point. Breathing in, inhaling. Imagine that strong, radiant red light glowing in the base chakra. Power. Connection to the universe. Connection to life force. To being. Breathing in and imagine it filling you. Breathing out. Breathing in more and more red light. And breathing out. And again. Imagine it flooding all the way up to the crown of your head, out to the tips of your fingers, and flooding all the way up to the crown of your head, out to the tips of your fingers and toes. Red light. Say thank you for this light of survival, of being, of existence. Letting it grow larger and larger with every inhale until you cannot hold any more of it. Imagine it still wanting to pour into you, thanking it. For this light has brought birth and survival, life, life force, radiant red light. Now, gather that red light in from the tips of your fingers and toes, from the crown of your head, down into the base chakra at the pelvis. Imagine it as a hot red ball of fire. Imagine the power of it. Let it close into a strong red radiant flower. Imagine an orange light above your head, inviting that also into your being, dropping down through the upper chakras, through the heart, through the solar plexus, and into the area just below the navel. You can bring your hands there and start to imagine this beautiful orange flower, the sacral chakra. This is where the red of pure existence rises up and begins to form a connection with the world. Breathe in and expand it. Breathing out. Breathing in, drawing more orange light down and into that spleen area. And again. Such beautiful orange light filling your being spinning. When you cannot hold any more, bring it in from the tips of your fingers and toes, from the crown of your head, compacting it down into this area below the navel. Thank it or what it gives to you. Imagine it spinning there, alive, life energy. Imagine it connecting with the red ball that's below it. The two of them spinning and supporting each other. Bringing the attention up again Imagine a yellow orb spinning above your head. 
and invite it through the crown of your head, through the whole system and down into the solar plexus. Imagine it spinning there, breathing in, invite it to fill itself, to expand, to flow through the whole system, radiant spinning yellow, such a beautiful color, breathing out, sending it to the tips of your fingers and toes to every pore of your body, breathing in more yellow and more. Imagine the solar plexus chakra begin to spin. Bring your hands to the solar plexus. Imagine the energy there, if it's helpful. For many people on a spiritual path, there is some reluctance to bring energy into these three lower chakras. People seem to believe that they need to be in the upper chakras, but they're not then in touch with the body. They are negating a part of their humanness. There is nothing bad about these lower chakras. They are essential for the human experience, but we want them to be in balance, not taking over the upper chakras. So many people on a very profound spiritual path do tend to push away the body. We see the story of the Buddha and how he ceased to take in food. He just wanted to meditate. He was not willing, at first, to take care of the body, and he almost died. If you want to wake up in this human experience, you do need a body. Imagining red, orange, and yellow, the three orbs, they're spinning. I want to explain something about the chakras. When we say the chakras are spinning and connecting, picture what would happen if you have a bucket of water or holding it by its handle and spinning it. The water goes to the bottom of the bucket because there's centrifugal force. But if you had a small hole in the bottom of the bucket, the water would be forced out from the power of the spinning. When the chakras, all seven chakras, are spinning well, energy comes from one chakra and reaches in to the next chakra. So when we say they are spinning, that also means they are connecting. Imagine them spinning, and as they spin, they connect. The energy from one is moving to the next. We want the chakras to be strong and spinning in order to allow them to connect so the energy can flow. Red, orange, yellow, and then imagine the heart center green. Imagining green energy and light filling your system, filling the heart, the heart chakra spinning, breathing in more green light and more until it floods the whole body, more and more, until you cannot hold any more, and then inhaling Draw it into the heart center, thanking it for its power and light, such beautiful heart energy. Blue light coming into the throat chakra, breathing in, 
Let it expand through the whole body, to the fingertips and the toes, to the organs, to the skin. Such radiant blue light, spinning, becoming stronger. With each inhale, taking in more blue energy and light and drawing it into the throat and through the whole body. And then breathe it up into the throat chakra as much as it can hold. And imagine now the red, orange, yellow, green, and blue chakras spinning together. Indigo light coming into the third eye, filling the body. With each inhale, drawing more into you. Imagine the power of it. And drawing it finally into the third eye, connecting it to the other chakra. violet light into the crown chakra, filling the crown and flooding the whole body. Put your hand on the crown of your head and imagine this beautiful area of spaciousness, inviting light. And then, when you cannot hold any more violet light, let it shrink into a flower in the crown, spinning and connecting to the other chakras. Imagine a brilliant white light four or five inches above the crown of your head. Raise one of your hands above the crown of your head. And as you move your hand in a bit of a circle, you can imagine this quality of whiteness as radiant as the clearest crystal. This whole channel of radiant light, red flower, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, and this radiant white light spinning, 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 open, filling you with energy. Imagine sending all of these colors up to the central channel and out through the crown of your head. Breathing in your readiness. Breathing out and slowly letting each color rise up. The base chakra pushing the others out. Color pushing up and out. Exploding out through your crown and through this brilliant white radiance above your head. The sacral chakra pushing up and out the heart chakra, up and out, the throat chakra, the brow, all of the colors up and out through the crown of your head, touching into that radiant white glow above your head and erupting out from that. Falling over your shoulders, 
and down your entire body, a fountain of radiant light pouring over you. A shimmering waterfall of light exploding out of your crown and pouring down over you. All of your chakras are aligned, spinning, leaving a core of pure light of each color as your whole core chakra system is cleaned. leaving you alert, relaxed, and at ease.